Hey everyone, Five Farley here, July 29th. Got a baseball best bet coming to you. I'm going to break a game down for you here in just one second. Um, coming off a loss with the Brewers run line. Didn't come through at all, even though it was, I still feel a good pick. Got to give my cap, uh, tap, tip my cap to the uh, Pirates for coming back there in the 7th and 8th uh, to get the 8-6 victory over the Brewers. They gave the Brewers a little taste of their own medicine after what they did the day before. So nice job to the Pirates. I was wrong on that part of the capping as far as whether they had it in them to come back after getting the, the wind taken out of their sails the day before, and they did. So uh, good for them. That said, ended up winning on the Diamondbacks, ended up winning on the Twins run line. So a nice profitable day in baseball still. Uh, good job over on Patreon.com slash Farley that took those plays. Uh, all, meanwhile, in other news, NBA preseason was unbeaten all the way to yesterday. The streak ends. Um, I'm going to start another streak hopefully here today. But uh, NBA preseason went 0-2 yesterday. So uh, I had to just stop uh, making plays there as I didn't want to go 0-3. If I were to take one, I ended up actually getting the side right uh, down the stretch. But 0-2 um, yesterday in NBA preseason. We'll look to get that back on the right track uh, here today. Anyway, baseball, um, I'm excited about today's slate. Okay, I got a really good game that I'm going to uh, break down, like I t said, in just one second. First, let me say, if you haven't subscribed, take a second to do so. I appreciate the new subscribers. Also, patreon.com slash fivefarley is where all my plays will be posted. You can check that out. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter, at fivefarley as well. I update my uh, posts each and every day there uh, so you can get a recap of the day. Uh, in case you weren't aware if you're not on Patreon. All right, so let's talk about today's slate of games. we got a lot of good uh, starters coming back for their second start of the 2020 season, of which this game we have two of those uh, going. Cubs versus Reds, a uh, nice divisional game here. This is actually going to be uh, what I think will be a, a, a two of the teams uh, going at it down the stretch. Um in this division. The Reds, off to a slow start. Uh, they need to get some pitching dialed in if they're gonna end up winning these games. You can't drop two out of three to the Tigers, um, you know, right out of the gates. Here they're sitting one and four, and in a short season, one and four is not a good start. Cubs, meanwhile, the opposite of that, four and one. Uh, Hendricks back on the mound after a great start to start the season. Uh, Sony Gray, uh, also a great start to start the season. Uh, got their only victory against the Tigers, and uh, here he's back up on the bump uh, going against Hendricks on the other side. Now, uh, this game is, of course, we got history between these two pitchers and between these two lineups. Last year, Hendricks faced the Reds four times, uh, of which the Cubs were 1-3 uh, in those matchups. Hendricks went 1-1 uh, one one as far as his decisions. The final game of which he got absolutely roasted, uh, went two and two thirds, 12 hits, seven runs, three home runs given up, uh, was absolutely annihilated. What's funny is I remember playing that game last year. I was on the Reds um, and I was very nervous because Hendricks is a good pitcher um, and it was the right side uh, in that, that particular instance. Now he does have a good game at uh, in Cincinnati last year where he won three to one uh, early in the season, but overall the Reds have done a really good job against Hendricks. Um, last year, I mentioned he was one and one, had a 5.16 ERA um, in four starts. As I mentioned, 22 and two thirds, 25 hits, 13 runs, seven dingers uh, do the Reds have against Kyle Hendricks. Now in Great American Park, a 6.75 ERA. Um, in 10 and two thirds, 15 hits, eight earned runs. I mentioned that absolutely annihilation that he had, um, but he also had a good outing as well last year. So not to say it can't happen. The roster currently with Cincinnati hitting 281 um, against uh, Kyle Hendricks, but you'll see where I'm coming at with this angle that it's not going to take a lot to win this game for the Reds. Um, I think Joey Votto, who's off to a pretty good start here out of the gates, is going to get to Kyle Hendricks. He's hitting 393 career against him with three home runs at 821 slugging percentage. If he can get a base runner on when he mashes, I think that'll be the difference in this one. 
be able to give the slant over to the Cincinnati Reds. Now, speaking of, they got Sony Gray on the mound. Gray has had a great history against the Cubs. Let's take a look into it a little more. I'm pulling up his numbers. Again, he started this year against the Tigers once already. Game we went to went uh, six innings, three hits, one earned run. Previously against the Cubs, say last year, he had a 2.7 ERA. He was 3-1 and one in five starts, went 30 innings, only 17 hits given up. Held the Cubs to a 160 batting average. Current roster on the Cubs, no one in particular stands out. No one has had success against Sonny Gray uh, for the most part. Anyone with any significant history. Um, overall, a 143 batting average and a 262 slugging percentage as a team. So this is very lopsided when it comes to Sonny Gray versus the Cubs. And at home, Gray is tremendous at home. Um, he, he's a, a little bit different when it comes to home and road. So is uh, Kyle Hendricks. I forgot to mention that. Hendricks was a different pitcher on the road than he was at home. Uh, quite significant. And uh, here you got Sonny Gray, who was 8-3 and three at home, holding opponents to just a 210 average. Last thing I'm going to do is pull Hendricks back up and tell you what he did home versus road. It's going to take me a quick second to pull that up. But in the end, you can see where I'm going with this. We're going with uh, the Reds at a minus 110. It's basically even uh, either way you look at it. And Kyle Hendricks last year, 204 ERA at home, 502 ERA on the road. Opponents hit 290 versus 206 at home. Significant advantage on the road for the opposing teams versus playing in Chicago at Wrigley. Um, over double the home runs, almost doubled the hits in less innings. So just night and day when it comes to uh, playing Kyle Hendricks here and uh, fading Kyle Hendricks on the road. So I'm going to fade him on the road. I'm taking Cincinnati. I'm taking Sony Gray. I'm taking Joey Votto. I think Joey Votto is going to have a good day. Ends up winning this game. I think it's going to be fairly low scoring. I'll take a 4-1 to win with Cincinnati minus the 110 daily best bet. Good luck everyone today. We'll see you again soon.